All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Orin High School Host Club, Club episode, episode 15. 15. We had the newspaper club last week. They were soundly defeated. They weren't yes. even much of a challenge, really, nope. in that regard. Not even a player, but they did attempt that whole extortion game and saw <laughs> how it was really done by the yeah. experts. But of course, the Orin Host Club would never actually stoop to extortion or blackmail or anything like uh, that. No, no. But no. if things did go to DEFCON 1, then things would actually get to... Uh, yeah, you would uh, be ground into the dust. Yeah, exactly. But we also got some info about Tamaki. Tamaki is uh, someone who is very integrally tied to the, uh, the structure and the hierarchy of this school, mm -hmm. given that his father... His father is the is, chairman. ...is actually, like, the guy yeah. for the... Uh -huh. For the administration of Orin High School Host Club. And you'd never or, know or High it. School Academy. Right. But you'd never know it because Tamaki would never say it. Yeah. He'd never actually use that to try and get leverage or get you to think of him differently or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. However, when he came to this school, mm -hmm. he immediately started the host club. Now, yes. not necessarily the day one, as we've discussed in a previous discussion, but For it sure. might have something to do with the fact that his father is involved mm. in the administration in possibly. some ways. So, drama, possibly. Drama. So let's find out. Y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Your daughter? <laughs> Holy shit! Mm. No. Watch, she's actually no. just like on vacation somewhere. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ah! she wants to be left alone. Oh my God. I love how he defaced the, the twins painting. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> She's too poor. Wait, does Wait, she? Actually. What's her number? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Dramatic delusion indeed. Mm -hmm. Karuizawa. Is this a fairy tale land? What is this? Some sort of bed and breakfast or something? She She's works got a here? summer job. Yeah, okay. Nice. Got it. There you go. Got All right. It. Of course, they have twin maids. <laughs> oh my, what a trunk. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Basically. Oh, ho, ho. Nope. Ho, ho. You presume too much. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Daddy is here. Wow. I love it. I love it. Lanka Sanga Shine Yoko Dakara, Sonorous Jim, Haruhino Kotoga Shimpa Nano de Azukati Takoto Natanda. Dakara, I frequent their establishments. Oh, oh no. Okay. So Harry's not even getting paid. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so she is getting paid just really low. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kyoya taking notes of this. Yeah. See, this is how he knows all these things, Tamaki, because he's taking furious notes of everything that he observes. <laughs> Bali. <laughs> wow. And Switzerland. I mean, you could do the same, but it's true. <laughs> The club president, you know, solidarity. <laughs> the line delivery is on point. Uh. 
<笑>お前はただ俺のそばにいてくれればいいんだ She's melting into my yes. arms yes, yes. Ah! <laughs> The brain theater yeah. <sighs> They'll all have to bunk up Oh my god What is this bunk bed you speak of? <laughs> No sense of solidarity. Mm. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. We have to fight for that room. Oh God. <laughs> have they even worked a day in their lives? Yep. <laughs> I wonder what Kyoya is thinking about all this. Yeah. Oh, oh no. God. Wow. <laughs> what is he even doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was brilliant. That was so perfect. That was brilliant. That's hard cut. Why are we still here? Just, Just to, to suffer. suffer. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> glorious, glorious voice acting. It's amazing. Wow, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. So then, why are you here at all? Yeah. yeah. So long for the ride? <laughs> Babysit? <laughs> wow. Yeah, 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 exactly. What the heck? <laughs> oh. Takashi. Easily Takashi. Well, and that'd be great too, because Takashi would be the least intruding on Haruhi's vacation. Exactly. Yep. But it's not. Skashi. <laughs> Indeed, we do. Yep. Uh -huh. Look at him. <sighs> For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Really? Kyoya! Yep, Kyoya's scheming, yep. <laughs> Here it comes. How will you interfere? <laughs> oh god, please let us see it. Yep, that is. Wow. <laughs> I need to make it into, into the, the friend zone, yes! Plus 100 points! <laughs> and that is something that you really 
wouldn't be able to get just anybody to do. That's very true. It's very true. People that aren't even guests will come by. Mm -hmm. Maybe just to eat there. Sure. Yeah, or have tea. There you yeah. go. Hmm. <laughs> she's like, hmm, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> he was so tunnel visioned. He yeah. Oh no! <gasps> Damn. Whoa. Good reflexes. Aww. Aww. It's okay though. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Oh, just relied on their shit. Gone. Yeah. And mm -hmm. immediate victory. Wait. Wait, did they in did they set that up? Wow. No. Wow. Hmm. You no. No. That's impressive. No. So then reality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of them got pushed off the bed. <laughs> This is too small. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh no, refreshing brother's quarrel. Yeah. But it might not be so refreshing. Nah, their improv game is on fleek. Hmm. We shall see, we shall see. Oh. Wow. What the heck? Wow. Did you make this, Tamaki? Nah, not a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, a training camp? Because after all, you think we'd stop coming here just because we were staying here? No, <laughs> because of course, Takashi is. <laughs> My drama. Yeah, childhood friend maybe, or, or someone who knows her. Oh no. Oh. What is this development? Yeah. Competition! <laughs> All right, cool. Okay. I love how the original, like, automatic winner was Takashi, but they're like, but the thing is, is that he's just going to leave once Honey leaves. So, right, right. you know. Summer vacation time! Yes, indeed. With a potential summer training camp maybe coming up. Summer and training also camp. summer jobs, summer hangouts, summer games, summer, summer loves maybe. Yes. Mm, indeed, indeed. I gotta oh say, my. as far as like shticks, or not shticks, but um, uh, conflicts for an episode. I love the setting of this one. Like, the idea of just, yeah, Haruhi goes on some summer vacation, because of mm. course she does, right? And, and yeah, it's because of, you know, work reasons and things like right. that. Sure, whatever. But now, now the host club has to try and blend in, in mm. the among the commoners. Oh, my. Oh, we have to actually work. What is this w w w work thing, you know? Using a hammer. Oh, what? Beneath me. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I love so it. we end up getting Great. Tamaki uh, kind of being the butt end of most of the jokes here because he is not Naturally. really suited to all the stuff, and yet he tries the most in earnest to do 
doing his best right. here. Mm -hmm. Now it makes him kind of the underdog of the situation, thus making us be a little bit more endeared to him. And while a lot of this is just him versus the twins, since most of the other characters are Don't kind care. of... They're kind of here more for just the heck of it mm -hmm. and just for the, the camaraderie and the solidarity and those things that Tamaki is, Tamaki is all about. But, you mm -hmm. know... It, it ends up being something where, wait a minute, we might actually be out here for a while. Indeed. And with this Arai Arai, coming, coming yes, into this new character. This with here. the amount of transition cuts they did between him and Harahi and then back mm -hmm. again, there's got to be something that's, you know, history I, past or whatever. I think Childhood Friend is the very accurate mm -hmm. uh, uh, assessment yep. to make here. Yep, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Now, to be fair... Mm -hmm. Him being brought into the story does mean, though, that there's potential that this is something more tied to some kind of linear storyline with regards to not just the club, mm. but uh, Harahi with regards to, like, what does she find, you know, interesting in a person? What does she Indeed. find attractive? Because if, what if, is she uh, into? Because if they're mm. bringing this character in as sort of like a concrete bit of conflict and competition for... Uh, at the very least, Tamaki, then in order for that to be resolved, you would think that it would be because Haruhi actually thinks about, yeah, like you were saying, who does she like? Is mm -hmm. it this kid or is it someone else? And yeah. if it is someone else, maybe then we'll get some concrete progression along that uh, that little arc of development. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. It could happen. Yeah. And she did come out here specifically to avoid the Orin High School host club and to have a little bit of just time to refresh yep. herself. But no, no luck. Now, uh, <laughs> the little little transition thing where it was like uh, restful to like restless yeah, yeah. or something. Uh-huh. One of the things that I loved about this is the, uh, well, okay, and this is something that Orin does pretty, pretty well on all of its episodes, is how completely convoluted oh. the reason for um, all of this stuff happening is, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's, oh, clearly Haruhi's been kidnapped because otherwise she would answer our calls, right, right? right? There's no other possible reason for it. Yes. So we're going to go find out where she is and then bug the heck out of her. <laughs> we're also going to compete for the chance to stay in the one open guest room at this establishment yep. Yep. when we all have cottages in the area yep. and are going to visit regardless. And can apparently summon helicopters at will so yeah. it's not like it would be yep. difficult for them to just come by and visit here after they're done sleeping they at could their even, places. Right, they could literally spend the entire day at this place, which seems to be what Tamaki's uh, decision Doing is. Already. Yeah, <laughs> right. It, waking up at the butt crack of dawn and then coming down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. That is a way to get ahead of the twins. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, but, uh, while this story is, is focused kind of on, on Tamaki mm -hmm. trying to win over Haruhi, yes. and yet he is not doing things in the, I would say, stereotypically romantic way while being, like, really forward about it this and is flirty, true. Yes. he is kind of being a bit of a bit of a dumbass by just kind of blundering into her situation and being like, let me be your father, your daddy, let Pay me attention be helpful to, me. to you. Yeah. Yeah, and and he's awkward and he and he means well ish. One of the things that is really kind of fun about this is he doesn't really listen to her that much. No, he really So there's doesn't. all these situations where Haruhi kind of gives him very easy kind of well, for, for us at the very least kind of hints and yet he doesn't really pick up on those and yet in these situations where he's all up in her face and stuff he is kind of acting a little bit like well her dad that you know one time mm -hmm. we got kind of time yep. to spend with her dad so uh, I'm, I'm actually curious to see uh if this is something where tamaki actually flourishes a little bit because he can oh, kind yeah. of be the dad you know older brother kind of awkward guy who's like who is this guy that you yeah that suddenly and, came into your life here and that like, is not something yeah. that harahi will be surprised by not surprised by, by at all for sure but that's par for the course like there's yeah. a reason that in a lot of ways she lets tamaki get away with as much as he does and that's because yes. he's consistent in his um mm -hmm. Neuroticism, uh, uh, self-obsession. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that works really well. You know, so, yeah, um, but you know, hijinks and fun are to be had along mm -hmm. the way there, and yeah. that's that's why she enjoys the host club. That's why we enjoy the host club. Exactly. And here we have a new situation. The fact that we're actually getting what seems like it's going to be a two-parter. I'm excited for. We mm -hmm. don't really get those too much in this we show. Don't. We don't. Um, no. Trying to think if we've ever gotten one of those, and I'm 
drawing a blank, but there might have been. Depends on um, what you would call a two-parter. Really. Yeah. I would say for uh -huh. the most part, no, we don't usually get those. Right. But given that they cliffhangered us with a new character, mm -hmm. and this character doesn't seem like a Renga, you know, where they're no. just there to kind of fulfill a joke shtick, you know? Right, they already made the Renga comparison with, uh, what's her name, the the, uh, the bed and breakfast owner. Uh, yeah. Suzuzuchi. 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 Yeah. Suzuzuchi. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a Suzuzuchi. tongue twister. Yep. Yeah. Right. But, but then, if that's the case, mm -hmm. this stuff going on with all the other members of the host club being here, they could all squad up and have something where it's not a contest, you know, putting pitting them against each other, mm. but where they have to team up to see, like, yes. do we have to protect Haruhi? We can't do let we have Haruhi to... get stolen away exactly. by this person. Now, obviously, Tamaki is going to be freaking out that she might, like, quit the host club or something oh, like that. Yes, or, or but, they might kiss, possibly. But, um... A lot of the other guys who are, I would say, a little bit more mature, like about this, like Takashi and Kyoya, mm -hmm. they could, at the very least, see see this as something where they're like, no, we're we're invested too in making sure that everything goes well here. I don't know. I feel like mm -hmm. I could I could see them I, I could see them doing that, but I could also see them just sitting back and eating popcorn, like possibly. Which yeah. I feel like the twins is, and uh, Tamaki is that's enough. They're they're plenty entertainment. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's uh -huh. true. Where do you think uh, a honey senpai honey falls fall into all of this? this. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of curious because honey actually, honey and Takshi were surprisingly absent after the whole thing with the competition fell through. Mm -hmm. You know, so True. I'm curious if honey has just like resigned himself to defeat, mm -hmm. or if he's still gonna hang out and eat, you know, sweets and he's things like that. He's still suffering from the lack of power that his cuteness had over mm -hmm. had over Suzuki. That's a that's a that's a real solid blow to his his confidence and his was. ego. Yeah. Like that. I don't know how he'll recover. Takashi will probably very, need to do a lot of cuddling. There's a very real difference between being cute and being refreshing. Yes, so, honey senpai, right. you'll have yeah. to go back to the dojo and learn the secret techniques of refreshing. Right. From maybe, Takashi. Maybe from Takashi, yeah. The yeah, whole yeah. thing, <laughs> chopping firewood, just because. For some reason. For some reason. <laughs> <Yes>. like, <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Uh, of course, he had to be shirtless while doing it as oh, well. Naturally, yeah. That was so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I found the part that I was referring to earlier. Summer recess became summer restless. Yes. And she's like, ha, ha. Sounds like fun. Also, uh, I got to say, I really appreciate the different outfits that we get for the characters in particular. Yes. Party, because, like, I don't know. It's, it's something where her outfits are all very normal. Mm -hmm. And that's something that... Well, it's refreshing because usually <laughs> right. when I think about anime characters getting different outfits, they are usually at the very least, whether even if you're not talking about like female characters and fan service and things like that, they are usually very extra, right? Yeah. They like it's it's a very strong outfit that is like, ah, here's this crazy outfit for some reason or other. But right. the idea that Haruhi's just sort of around with like the, you know, handkerchief tied over her over her hair and everything and mm -hmm. just like, yeah, you know, this this is where I'm at. It's like Yep. This, this is cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um, the insinuation, though, that the twins staged this whole thing, potentially. They are improv masters. That would have been a god-tier move. And the because, fact that maybe even Kyoya was in on it, too. Oh, God. Like, Because the thing is, is that they've done stuff like that before. Their whole twin argument thing, they, they know how to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then, oh, no. No, it actually, it was, it was a real scare. Right, yeah. and then later when they're alone, it's like you you sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. Like that's that kind of thing helps me buy the the way they play it up for laughs and for the entertainment of others in public because mm -hmm. um, the whole idea of like ah yes them even sleeping in the same bed and things like that and oh Haruhi if you wanted to if you wanted to join us it's like well hold on no no it's not <laughs> happening but yeah yeah no I, I liked the little bit where Tamaki came out with the food. Mm. And it was kind of this acknowledgement that he was like, I'm in it for the long haul, just because I didn't get right. the guest room and stuff. He's really working hard. Yeah, I want to make this a wonderful summer for mm -hmm. Haruhi. And I feel like it's these little things that will end up meaning Winning a lot over. in the long haul. Yeah. Because this whole summer host club, summer training camp thing, I'm like, wait a minute, is this where the arc like will go? Is that it's not just a second, like I a mean, two-parter, it's like a three or four-parter where it then goes and it's just summer. Yep. Because the rule about this show thus far was it is Orn High School host club at right. the club doing yes. things at the academy for the mm -hmm. club summer vacation is already breaking that mold and being like screw that the club can be anywhere exactly and quite frankly they would probably be able to bring a lot of extra business and to this bed and breakfast mm -hmm. by doing that host club type deal because yeah, yeah 
if you want to like the whole reason a host club exists is to be refreshing to its clients, right? It's to it's to bring them in and you know and just make nice conversation with them and things like that, right? Make them feel special. For people that are going on a trip to this other place, right, and trying to get away from the stress of life and things, right. I can imagine that would be incredibly helpful, even mm -hmm. if they're not, you know, high school girls fawning over the twins making doe eyes at each other. Totally, right? totally. Like, just, just having someone who is who is observant and really caring about yeah. your experience with something, like, yeah, yeah. It's earnest. It means a lot, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I also loved the rules he came up with for the summer training camp because the very oh, yes. first one was you cannot treat me as your senpai, uh, Haruhi, which means that I'm in the friend zone. Yeah. There we go. Way Hell to go, yeah. Tamaki. Tamaki's a genius. You successfully friend zoned yeah. yourself. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> like, flirting with her and actually, like, you know, initiating discussion based on your feelings for her no 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 uh init putting yourself into the friend zone so that you can have her cell phone number and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and not even <laughs> truly putting yourself into the friend zone subliminally trying to like alter her perspectives of you by making it so that she doesn't actually call you by a certain thing so that then her opinion of you will change Mm, so now that, that might be get a bit into the next, friend zone. That's that's some Kyoya level logic. Though. That's kind of what he's doing by saying like, no, no, kind no, of. you can't. But I think he really senpai, just wanted to be improper. given her actual phone number so that mm. he could actually use it because it was Which only for friends, you know. He still hasn't gotten. <laughs> he still doesn't have it yet. Right. No. <laughs> oh boy! But oh boy. all that being said, uh, this episode had a lot of hilarious moments. There, yep. the stuff with Honey was really good, but also the stuff where Tamaki even remembered some like traumatic incident of waking up both oh, yeah. uh honey Kyoya. and Kyoya at early hours. Because I get the honey one. I like we have precedence for that, but Kyoya, Kyoya that surprised me. We have like the devil being awakened and then mm -hmm. the beast being awakened. Yep. And, and I, I love just, <laughs> I love that one would have destroyed him psychologically and the other would have destroyed him physically. So yep. it's, the exactly. beast and the devil fit very well. And then the other person that's in the host club Takashi yeah. just isn't mentioned because oh yeah he probably wakes up that early already. Anyway, yeah. If Takashi was a YouTuber, he would be the one who does inspirational videos about what a great man he is, you know. But instead of doing all the egotistical like flaunting of it with like words and stuff, he would just mm. and then there'd be text that like floats across the screen, like that would, like quotes he, and stuff. If he had a dedicated editor that was very much not of course himself he would. to do that for, of course him. he would. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, he would have the best editors. Yeah, I I, I thought yeah. you were gonna take it the direction of that he would just like set up a camera somewhere to just watch, like to just record him doing something like normal. chopping wood. Yeah, like chopping wood, like like For some just reason. going about his his regular life, and then he would just do it in such like a like a silent but like communicating mm -hmm. a lot, you know, kind of way. Right, right. That people would. Just it's love all it. it's all in the background music, Jacob, because then mm. people would insinuate such depth to ah, his character. Yes. And See, all the comments would be like, the fan this, is, this, is a raw, be... this is a raw, real man right mm. here. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need that. That just sounds so good. Okay, now, with this new character coming in, though, mm -hmm. and we discussed the possibility of there being some romantic conflict, tension, or what have you there, mm -hmm. there's also the idea that this is just a good, wholesome boy that gets added to the cast as kind of a, a just a recurring character. And I feel like we're kind of due for that, because none sure. of the host club really fulfill the normal wholesome boy role. Haruhi fulfills that Haruhi role better fulfills than that. Do. And yet she's the one that basically gives the deadpan just kind of, huh, you know, kind of. Right, the Jim Halpert stares. and Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. In some ways, she's too much of a straight man to be a wholesome, sure. wholesome boy. Yeah. In, in, in the in the archetype sense, you know. Yeah. So I, I feel like there could be just a really cool way where it's like, hey, yeah, I'm Arai Kun. And oh. I work with my father and we run a produce business. And, you know, I do my deliveries every morning really early. And can and, you imagine? Uh, yeah, how... yeah, it's really good to see you again, oh, Haruhi, you know. And imagine, if he becomes a recurring character, mm. how that will drive Tamaki up a wall. Oh, yes. Up oh, a yes. wall. Even if it gets to the point where Haruhi specifically says to Tamaki, like, hey, mm -hmm. I don't like him like that. You know, I, he's, he's a good friend, whatever. Just chill. Right. In some ways, stop. He's, he's You're making boring, this weird, you know, like, you know, or whatever. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, whatever would have happened, right? <laughs> Even if that happened, mm -hmm. but then he was still, like, hanging around with the host club and things, Tamaki would... 
You know what? Actually, you know what I actually think is going to happen. Tamaki's going to go through the real. The, if his character goes for more than one episode, <laughs> the five stages of grief. No, no, like, no, 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 not mm. that. Just through three <laughs> stages here. Okay. First stage. Hmm. Second stage, diplomacy. Uh-huh. And then third stage, they're best friends. Sure. Because Tamaki okay. is actually relentless with using his charisma yeah. to bring people into the fold. Sure. And that is something that he is good at, mm-hmm. even with those who determine to dislike him, you know. Now, that's where in some ways... In the, some ways, by being that kind of uh, scapegoat, you know, he, yeah. that's that's part of his strategy, I feel it like, even of. if he doesn't intend to do that necessarily. <laughs> right, right. You know, but yeah, yeah. strategy, you know, in some ways belies some form of intent. Higher but, thought. And yeah, like... exactly. We'll leave that to Kyoya. Like, sure. That's yeah. something that goes into his mm-hmm. uh, his management book. There. Yeah. Uh, Kyoya didn't participate in the game. What do you think about that? I thought it made perfect sense because he's so no nonsense. Why mm-hmm. would he? Right. Right. Like, but... like honey, honey just wants to be around around. Uh, uh, Haruhi to hang out, right? Right. And then Takashi is just there because Honey's there, Cause right? Because Honey's there. And he wasn't the twins even are into trying. Haruhi. The twins and are into Tamaki Haruhi. Is also Tamaki's like into Haruhi. In a different way, but yeah, but, yeah. But Kyoya, he's not into Haruhi, and he is the mm-hmm. most... He doesn't have someone that he will just stick with in the host club. Well, so, I feel like... Okay, because I, I, I wanted to put out the idea, if he was doing this... Mm-hmm. I feel like he's the kind of character that would do something for the sake of it being a competition. Because he asked, would you like to make bets on this? Okay. So what I think it was is that he gains nothing in and of itself. So competition for the sake of competition is not enough. Right. He needs to do it where he will win something sure, out of it. Sure, he is definitely the kind of person where it was like, all right, if there's five bucks on the line, then he'll cut a bitch in order to win. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh-huh. Thus, I think what it is is that the reward... Mm-hmm. was something that they were all basically just being dumb and doing it for the right. sake of a reward that he they is, could already have. He already has the, like, he knows he's got a cottage near here. Yeah, he yeah. can hang out with Haruhi whenever he wants. Right, like, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thus, I think what it is f- for him is that whenever there's these kinds of things happening, he's like, okay, how can I make money off of this? Right. Otherwise, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he would yeah. also he would also know that oh this competition involves us doing work for no pay in order mm-hmm. to get the chance to pay money to stay at a place that I that just would give him an, an aneurysm thinking right, about right. it right he's like but Why? you know what but these these doofuses my doofuses now, love to, to do that kind of thing so I'll. I'll enjoy watching them. To be fair, they would have to spend their own money on all of this. So this has nothing to do probably with the club budget. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. But mm-hmm. I, I think that even for his own money, he'd be like, why? I've got a cottage. I've, I'll, right, it, right. It'd be better there anyways. I've so, got the whole place to myself. So or something I like wonder that. if he's basically feeling like he's the kind of person who's actually really not lonely, but he just needs to be with the group. Well, there was... Because then, why didn't he just leave, right? It's not just the trope of, he's the he's one of the cast, so he has to be here. Uh-huh. His reason could be, I, yeah. I actually just like being with the group and watching them do their antics. Well, so stuff. so to, to read into that a little bit, which uh-huh. I think is maybe going a bit too far. A bit but, too far, sure. But um, It's mostly meta, probably. Just... Right, but they did mention like three different times, like, wait, how do you know so much stuff about Haruhi's life and everything? And mm. it's implied, of course, that he goes to the establishment where Harhi's dad works and then they mm-hmm. talk and things like that, right? Yeah. They know each other. But that that combined with the host club communicates mm. to me that it's something where there's an environment that he at the very least does not enjoy. Mm. And so he seeks other means of entertainment keeping himself preoccupied. Mm. That's if anything, that's what I would read from this. And then and then him tagging along with the host club for a lot of their antics is because one, he does get some enjoyment from watching the little ants scurry around, you know. But but also maybe it's he he really doesn't have anything better to do. You yeah. Know? Like yeah. it is summer vacation. Right. In that regard. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right, okay. Well, hey, next episode, a continuation of the whole summer vacation thing, potentially going into a training camp, Mm -hmm. which I had no idea that uh, a romantic comedy show would have a training camp in it. Uh, I mean, Because that feels so, like, more like sports anime anime kind of setup. Yeah. I mean, but I guess if Haruhi is is the sport for half the club, you know, then. uh, That's, uh, you're not wrong. I guess you're not wrong. Yeah. So. 
Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.